Hey everybody. It's raining. I decided to get up and go for a Wednesday walk with my good camera, which is safely tucked under my coat now. I'm standing under some trees. I decided I'm going to just stand here and enjoy the view for a little bit. So it's October 17th in Canada, and anyone who knows anything about what's going on here, marijuana is legal. It's illegal for recreational use. And I have to be honest, I've been dreading this day. The only reason that I supported it was for medical research, but so far, there doesn't seem to be any medical research on it going. And it doesn't seem like there's any planned, at least not at to the University of Western Ontario, which is kind of odd, but I'm hoping. The reason I don't like the fact that uh, the ban is lifted, so to speak, is uh, the government's involved now. So, if I want to still be able to afford my medicinal marijuana, I'm going to have to go out somewhere that I'm not going to say now and uh, buy it at an illegal dispensary. Because in Ontario, they only have a few depots that you can order it through the mail. And all of a sudden, everybody's going to be ordering it. So, God knows when you're going to get it. The second thing I worried about, and is starting to come to fruition, is landlords. I live in a rental unit, in an apartment, and I got a notice on my door two days ago that, uh, no, you know, you can't smoke marijuana in the building. Not even in your own apartment. Well, the legality of it is that notice is more of a suggestion at this point, but um, holy cow, the rain's picking up. But my fear is that landlords will be able to enforce that rule so I'm not too impressed because for years including my superintendents we've always smoked it in the apartment nobody's ever complained we don't have any issues with odor I just uh, I'm worried that things are gonna clamp down too tight and the government's gonna try to make too much money off of it and it's gonna become like alcohol now don't get me wrong I don't agree with alcohol I have an issue with alcohol. In fact, I don't really drink. And it's funny, when you tell someone that you don't drink, they automatically assume you're an alcoholic. Not that maybe you just lived with one for too long. But uh, I have never seen marijuana destroy a family. I've seen opiates prescribed by doctors destroy families. I've seen alcohol destroy families. I've never seen marijuana destroy a family. The worst they do is attack the fridge. But, uh, okay, well, it's really raining. I suppose I better get my ass inside and finish this from there. I'm back, I'm home, and it really pissed down. It's still going, but I don't think it's gonna last that long. Oh, here comes an ambulance. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm talking about marijuana. There it goes. Wow, look at it rain. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's coming down really well. When I first went out, it was that just kind of dull, but not really cloudy, and then the wind pushed the rain right in here. Brutal. So anyways, I don't know what's going to happen with landlord-tenant rules, but uh, I'm hoping that Medicinal has some outs. At this point in time, there's going to be a lot of different, like driving while under the influence. Good luck. How do you test for that? And they're saying that police have to go 28 days after smoking a joint before going on shift. Well, you might as well say, okay guys, you're not allowed to smoke this. And as for the city workers, it doesn't really matter as long as they're not high on the job. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. There's probably going to be a huge backlog in every legal sector. I'm assuming that our landlord tenant board is going to be backlogged if people try to back this up. We've been living here for four years. So none of this is in our, our tenant agreement. So at this point in time, until they pass a law, it's just a suggestion.
instead of hell with them. <laughs> Anyways, I really don't think things are going to change. People have been freaking out. Oh my God, everybody's going to smoke dope on this day and it's going to be so crazy. But you know what? People who smoke marijuana are already smoking marijuana. Just because it's legal doesn't mean people are going to try it. If they haven't already. Maybe the odd one, but there's not going to be a glut. Dispensaries across Canada have closed up by yesterday, the ones that want to go legal. And uh, they've sold off their stock at a huge discount. And where are they going to get their income from? I hope they've been saving a lot of money because it's going to be quite some time, possibly April 2019, before dis private dispensaries are even thought about. So I don't know what's going to happen there. As with everything that's new, it's a clusterfuck. <laughs> Case of I don't think things are really going to change that much. But I'm really hoping that more medical studies begin happening. I'm really, really hoping. Because the more that this is studied, the better clarification we can get. And then maybe eventually I can get my medicinal marijuana covered by my medical insurance. That would be cool. Now, when I say medical insurance up in Canada, we have uh, universal health care up here. Everyone has the right to medical treatment, but many things aren't covered. Surprise, our pharmaceuticals are not covered. And neither are things like walkers or crutches or canes or probably hundreds of things I'm not even thinking of. So, of course, we have medical benefits through work. Our, med our personal medical benefits cover 80% of our prescriptions. So, if I could save 80% of $200 a month, that would be really good. I don't have it as bad off as a diabetic. Insulin is super expensive, and I don't know how people do it. Unless, of course, you're on welfare, and then the government covers it. We do have a plan up here called the Trillium Fund. And uh, yes, taxpayers pay into it, but if you're really down and out and you really need medical help with your prescriptions, you can apply to them for help. Quite often, they do help. So, all is not lost. Anyways, enough of my rambling. I'm sure you guys are bored as hell, but look at that gorgeous rain. It wasn't so pretty when I was out in it. So, I'm going to head off now. I have knit group this afternoon. I'm teaching a, a young woman. Well, she's probably in her 30s. Um, these days, I don't know what they call it, but back when I was a social worker, she's developmentally challenged. And uh, she is determined that she wants to make a sock. So I started teaching her last week. We got the toe done. I taught her the magic loop method, which is a really cool way to knit with one needle as compared to four DPNs. So today, I get to teach her how to make the body of her foot. She's actually a very sweet person, and she, she learns fairly quickly. Not bad. She's really determined, though. She looks so crestfallen when she realized the lady down the table who offered to help her knit did it on one needle and then sewed up the seam. She doesn't want to do it that way. She wants to do it all one piece. So I'm teaching her toe up so she doesn't have to sew the toe. And I think it's a lot easier. So that's my day. And tomorrow, of course, rental unit, they're coming in to do uh, pest prevention. So they need to come and do their jellies in my kitchen, in my bathroom, and then they need to get at all my outlets and spray so they can prevent the dreaded bed bugs from coming in. And I'm not going to bitch about it <laughs> because we spent a year fighting. I mean, fighting with bed bugs. If you can avoid those bastards, avoid them. And I'm serious. You get on a bus, look at your seat. Get on a train, look at your seat. Stay in a hotel, lift the mattress, take a look. You just never know. They can be literally anywhere. It only takes one to make you totally insane. In fact, I still have half of my belongings in bags because I haven't treated them yet, and I'm told that they can live without food for over a year. So it's been, let's see, how long? Almost a year. Not quite. Some things I've started to do some treatment on. In fact, the other day at Creative's Coffee Hour, I shared a picture of a doily, the first vintage doily pattern I ever crocheted, and it was a bitch. 
but it was a lot of fun. So anyways, I'm going to go inside, get some breakfast, since I don't think I'm going for a nice long walk with my good camera. Yeah, I look pretty interesting walking back with this huge bump under my coat, but my camera's safe. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Do something for yourself. Get your nose out the door. But when you get back inside, go forth and steamy eight. Do something good on the platform. Bye for now.